Hey guys, so let's see what Florida bees look like in early February. So these hives got here a couple nights ago in the California where I am right now. And we'll be putting these into almond orchards tonight. But let's see what bees that have come out of Florida look like in, in you know, the first of February, which is what this is. Um, I usually have my uh, blue nitrile gloves on when I'm doing these videos. I've got some real gloves on. These are the new gloves we just came out with. Uh, they're ventilated, uh, so they're nice and cool, but they're super, super bee proof. Um, that's not because there's it's not because the Florida bees are mean, it's just because I'm actually doing real work today. <laughs> and so when I'm actually doing a lot of real work um, and, and going through hundreds of beehives in a day, uh, I usually opt for a little tougher glove than, uh, than just a nitrile, uh, nitrile glove. So uh, let's take a quick look at what's going on uh, and let's actually just jump down to the bottom box because I want to see especially what kind of brood these hives have um, coming out of Florida. And that's one thing I'm always curious about, you know, is to see um, what the difference is in brood coming out of one state versus a different state. So let's dig in. Um, I've got a good healthy bee population. I've got, uh, you know, probably seven or eight frames of bees in the bottom and seven or eight frames of bees in the top. Wow, <laughs> check it out, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's February, look at that. Just a beautiful, beautiful frame of brood. We've got nice frame of honey around the edge, or, or ugh, nice realm of honey around the edge. Here's even a drone. So we've even got a drone. Clearly they came out of Florida. You can see all the new, newly emerged bees. Look, here's a bee Hope that just emerged out of her cell. So we've got all these hatching baby bees, beautiful frame of brood that's already hatching out. And let's see how much of this they have. Um, they've got, so one frame there, the opposite frame is full, two, three, four. So they've got five frames of brood in the bottom box, which is awesome. I mean, it's February 1st five frames of bees, I mean five frames of brood. And those are solid frames of brood. Those aren't just little patches of brood. I mean, those are five solid frames of brood. And then here in the top box, let's see what's going on. So again, we've got <laughs> lots of eggs, larva, brood. Um, so check this out, beautiful frame of brood. You can see that uh, you've got larva around the edges. I don't know if you can see that or not, but let's see if I can get in a little closer. See that larva? Beautiful larva getting ready to be capped. And then on this side, look at all that drone brood. So you can see that how bumpy that drone brood is. So see if you could tilt it down, you can kind of see how bumpy that drone brood is on the right. So that's a great shot of worker bee brood and some drone brood and that's fine i mean usually you'll see the bees create a patch of drone brood on a frame uh, what you don't want to see is it mixed in sporadically with all your worker bee brood but as long as they've kind of got it isolated to a section of a frame that's pretty normal you know they want 10 percent of the brood to be drone brood so it looks like i've got another two or three frames of brood in the top box so you know <laughs> seven or eight frames of brood uh, in, a, in a hive out of Florida, February 1st. That's the beauty of beekeeping in Florida is, you know, you have such uh, a warm winter that the bees can start brooding up. If they ever shut down at all, they can start brooding up, you know, early in February uh, and you can have strong pollen flows just, just way, way sooner. So Florida bees looking awesome. Uh, let's take a look at some different bees and see what we find. Okay, so these bees came out of Texas. So it's been, you know, the last month has been pretty cold in Texas. We had some pretty severe cold, cold spells. Now these bees are equally strong. Um, and so the hive we just looked at had, you know, probably 12 frames of bees in it. So 12 frames covered front and back with bees, which for almond pollination is amazing. I mean, it's no easy feat 
to even have eight frames covered front and back with bees in January or the first of February. But, you know, uh, these hives are roughly equivalent in strength. So this hive we're going to look at, well, I say it is, I was judging it by the front of the entrance. Um, nope, never mind. That one's not as, that one's not as strong. Let's find one that uh, is equally as strong as what we were looking at before to get a good comparison. Um, but I want to look at two hives that are kind of equivalent in bee population so that we can compare the brood. Here we go. Here's a good one. So this one's from Texas, equivalent bee population. Let's see what the brood looks like. Or let's see if they even have any brood at all. So Texas versus Florida. Okay, I've got some pollen left over from winter. And I have a frame of eggs. So you won't really be able to see the eggs, of course, but this frame is full of eggs. And when I see a frame like this, that you can tell around the edges, the bees are starting to drink the nectar around the edges. And you can see they're kind of leaving that center area open. When I see a frame like this in the brood nest, that often clues me into the fact that, hey, I think I have brood there. Um, you can see the bees kind of down here on the left are clustering, uh, drinking syrup because I smoked them or nectar because I smoked them. But this whole center area, there's no bees and it's because there's, there, it's full of eggs. So this frame has, it's about half a frame full of eggs on that frame anyway. Let's see what we find as we go a little bit further. We've got this next frame has a few eggs on it. The next frame, no eggs at all. So no eggs other than that one frame in the bottom box. Let's uh, march to the top and see if there's anything going on in the top box. The top box is very heavy, plenty of honey, a lot of great bees, so it's a very strong hive. A lot of honey in the second box. No need to feed it. You know, if a hive this time of year has, you know, 20, 30 pounds of honey in it, I'm not too worried. Ooh, so we, so we got some brood up here. Okay. So check it out. It's not a huge patch of brood, but it's still not bad. Um, we've got some good cat brood there. Some cat brood on this side. Plenty of honey. So beautiful band of capped honey. We've got some cat brood. Let's see how much we've got. So that's one. The next frame over, a beautiful frame of eggs. So this frame is just eggs. So you can see the bees are kind of leaving the space off in the middle, clustering around the edges. I've got some, just got some larvae getting ready to cap at the base of this frame, but largely just eggs. And looks like that's about it. Yeah, the rest of this, the rest of the top box is just honey. So e equivalent bee population, but I've got one frame of cap brood and then two frames of eggs. And so it's amazing because both hives had, you know, 12, 13 frames of bees. So great bee population. The Florida guys, <laughs> you know, eight frames of mostly capped brood and hatching brood. Texas, we've got one capped frame of brood and a couple frames of eggs, and that brood was just capped. So you can tell, you know, the Florida bees are a solid month ahead of the Texas bees. So that, that certainly gives you a flavor of the difference that you'll see in bee strength across the country. Now, most of the country right now is going to be more in the Texas bee bucket or behind. You know, Florida is certainly an outlier. Florida, Georgia, you know, the southeast is much earlier in brood production and brood rearing. When you get into the rest of the south, uh, 
you know, you're, you're talking, you know, maybe they might have a frame or two, maybe three frames of brood. Uh, and then if you, as you push north more into the central U.S. and further north, you probably will have, you know, maybe a frame with a patch of eggs on it. You know, as, as the days start getting longer, the queen will start laying, but you're not going to have a significant amount of brood. So in some areas, winter's almost over. We're coming out of winter in Texas. We're coming out of winter here in California. Florida's already out of winter. But for a lot of the U.S., you may still have a couple months left before you have a significant amount of brood. But it's pretty cool to see the differences in strength uh, or really brood production in various hives from all over the country.